Today we are going to start gate and ES questions on half wave rectifier. So in this in these questions you need to know various waveforms, various formulas of voltage and current, conduction angle, excitation angle, circuit turn off time and all these things you need to know to solve all these problems. So to know more about the concept behind all these problems you need to refer my lecture number 12 to 24 okay that all these lectures from lecture number 12 to 24 are on one phase half wave rectifier so first refer them then then we will find all these questions very easy so let's start the video now we will solve the question that has been asked in gate 2009 here in this question the circuit is given and we have to find the waveform of output current I0. Here in this circuit, this diode is connected in series with this inductor. It means it is a diode rectifier with L load. And for diode rectifier with L load, we get current up to 2 pi. Okay, so that's why we can write it as this 100 pi that is omega. 100 pi t is equals to 2 pi. It means 2 pi occurs at t is equals to 20 millisecond. Okay. So here only this option satisfy. Here we get current up to 2 pi. That 2 pi is equivalent to 20 millisecond. So option C is correct. Okay, now see this question. In this question, diode is connected in series with resistance R and supply voltage is 100 sin 100 pi T and we have to find the input power factor. So to find the input power factor, we have to put input equals to output. So input to this rectifier circuit is equals to VRMS IRMS cos phi. And what is output? Output is equals to V0 RMS, I0 RMS because load is resistive. Okay. So for voltage stiff load, output is given by V0 RMS into I0 RMS. Now what is cos phi? We know that this RMS source current is equals to RMS output current because same current flows through this source and this output so these ISR and I not R are equal so cos phi we get that is equals to V not RMS upon RMS value of source voltage okay now what is the RMS value of output voltage that is simply given by Vm by 2 and what is RMS value of source voltage that is equals to Vm by root 2 okay so on solving this we get cos phi is equals to 1 by root 2 or we can say that power factor is equals to 0 0.7 Now see this question that has been asked in gate 2011. Here input voltage is given 100 root 2 sin 100 pi t and input current is given 10 root 2 sin 100 pi t minus pi by 3 plus root 2 into 5 sin 300 pi t plus pi by 4 plus 2 root 2 sin 500 pi t minus pi by 6. For this question we have to find the active power and input power factor. So, here this question is for 4 marks, this first part is for 2 marks and this second part of part is for 2 marks. Okay, first see the voltage source. Here it is sinusoidal, so we can write RMS value of voltage is equals to Vm by root 2 and Vm is 100 root 2. So 100 root 2 by root 2, it gives 100 volt. Now what is RMS value of current? 
IRMS. So RMS value of current is equals to under root of we have to square and add individual RMS values of all these components. So RMS value of this component is equals to 10 root 2 by root 2 whole square. What is RMS value of this component? It is simply equals to 5 root 2 by root 2 whole square. Now what is RMS value of this component? See there, here, here it is maximum value so simply 2 root 2 by root 2 whole square. Okay, now it is clear. So on solving this we get RMS value of current is equals to 11.358 ampere. Now what is output power or active power? So we can write active power as P active. So this active power is due to fundamental component only. Okay. So here this voltage source is simple uh, that is equals to uh, has frequency equals to 100 pi. Now this current I has this frequency component equals to this. So only this component that's it, that is 10 root 2 sin 100 pi t minus pi by 3 is fundamental component. In remaining component you can see that the angular frequency is multiple of this angular frequency that is angular frequency of voltage and here also angular frequency is five times that of voltage source uh, angular frequency that's why only this 10 root 2 sin 100 pi t minus pi by 3 is fundamental component so active power is equals to rms value of fundamental voltage so RMS value of fundamental voltage is equals to 10 root 2 that is we have already calculated it that is equals to 100 okay now what is RMS value of fundamental component of current so here RMS value of fundamental component is 10 root 2 by root 2 okay into cos phi cos phi is the angle between fundamental component of current and input voltage so here we can see that this this fundamental current is phase shifted by pi by 3 okay so cos phi is equals to simply pi by 3 so on solving this we get cos pi by 3 is equals to 1 by 2 so we get 1000 by 2 and that is equals to 500 watt. So this is active power. Now what is input power factor? So input power factor cos phi is simply equals to output power that is equals to active power. Okay upon VRMS RMS value of input voltage into IRMS so you must clearly understand this this VRMS is equals to 100 and this IRMS is the RMS value of this total input current and that is equals to 11.358 while RMS value of fundamental component of current is only equals to 10 root 2 by root 2. So, okay. So, what is output power act or active power? It is equals to simply 500 watt. Okay. And what is VRMS into IRMS? Here, VRMS is equals to 100. And what is IRMS? IRMS is equals to 11.358 so on solving this we get 0 0.44 
so cos phi is equal to 0 0.44 now we will solve this question that has been asked in gate 2007 here one phase 230 volt 50 hertz ac mains is fed to spec step down transformer with ratio turn ratio 4 ratio 1 is supplying power to a half wave uncontrolled ac to dc converter used for charging a battery of 12 volt having resistance 19.04 ohm what is the charging current here it is asking what is the output current okay now this is 230 volt and this is simply a one phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier with re load so here it is 230 volt this is rms value then what is rms value of voltage appearing here so it is uh, going to be step down that's why it is simply equals to 230 by 4 that we get 57.5 now this is the rms value what is the maximum value of source voltage so maximum value is equals to 57.5 root 2 so this is the maximum value now what is output current equation it is simply equals to 1 upon 2 pi r this r is equals to 19.04 ohm in bracket 2 vms that is equals to 57.5 root 2 okay vms cos theta minus e pi minus 2 theta in bracket close now we have to find this theta this emf e is equals to 12 volt okay theta is simply given by sine inverse e by vm what is emf e that is equals to 12 volt this is equals to 12 volt and what is vm that is equals to 57.5 root 2 so on putting this we get theta is equals to what is theta this theta is equals to 8.48 degree okay now this is in degree so we will put 8.48 in degree here but here we have to put theta in radian and what is theta in radian it is simply equals to 8.48 into pi by 180 okay so in radian we get 0 0.148 so you have to be careful while choosing the value of theta here you have to put theta in degree and here you have to put theta in radian so this you have to take care of okay so this is very easy question and this is on direct formula okay if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel you can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming video. Thank you.